In this video, we're going to explore the multi-line comments in JavaScript. And if you've seen my video about the single-line JavaScript uh, comments in JavaScript, the multi-line is basically having multiple lines where you have the comments. So let's look at this. So we have here right now the single, but maybe you have more text. And if you would have more text here, what happens then is you have to do another one of these, which is fine as well. It doesn't matter so much. However, maybe if you wanted to keep it clean, Let's say you want to uh, have a more nicer design or just something just for organizational purposes. You can use this one here with a, with a asterisk. So basically slash asterisk. And then once you're done here, you do again a asterisk and slash. And if you've seen WordPress, you probably have seen like these kind of things that they use in, in the CSS part to, to give more comments or more description. Basically like this. And the goal here is basically just for organization purposes, maybe giving a bit more focus on it. You can do it like this, putting here more text or more description. The reason for this is sometimes, or quite commonly, not really to explain, but more, for example, here to say, um, check item or still need to add ABC function. Uh, something like that so basically you give yourself your more reminders in the area and sometimes you want to talk to other developers who are checking on this you'll check this and you can say here check this get an error uh, whatever get an error once I click button so this is a way to, to give yourself a reminder or other people or in your team a reminder check whatever is going on here so this is basically the only reason you have these multi comments here you can just do it like this asterisk or so slash asterisk and then the closing one will be asterisk slash sometimes you want to double check or you want to just remove these common out just to see if the function because something will break down the function into multiple parts then you check if a single element works or a single part if this part works first yes and then you can continue on etc etc this is how you basically do it faster so this is everything about a multi-line comment where you can just comment multiple lines to help you out with your work so if you like videos about this subscribe to my channel and if you have a question regarding to this which i don't think you probably have just like the other one the, the single line comment this makes a lot of sense but if you do have questions, just put them in the comment section below.